Boom! So the vlog you guys are watching right now, I'm actually currently editing. Let me get this to focus in on my face a little bit better. Before I release this vlog, guys, um, I just wanted to explain that there was like another vlog I had before this and I mentioned that vlog in this one so I didn't want to confuse anyone but I decided not to put that vlog out and the reason why is because uh, I actually got injured or at least I thought I got injured by explaining what really happened in the next part that you guys are about to see right now uh, and it was just a really adverse reaction to a medication so um, there's really no point of me releasing that vlog because I was talking about how I was going to handle the injury and blah 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 and all that Kind of pointless because I found out it was just a bad reaction of inflammation, like really severe inflammation from medication, and so I was able to fix it. Uh, also, my energy was so down in it because I've dealt with so many injuries as of late, and I had to pull out of my last meet, and I thought I was going to have to pull out of this meet, and I just was not my normal self. So um, anyway, just overall, I decided to cut that vlog out. Uh, keeping this one in so I just didn't want to confuse anyone because I mentioned that vlog and the injury and stuff like that a little bit in this video that you guys are about to watch so just throwing this in there uh, in the beginning of this vlog that way you guys understand what's going on so I'm gonna just let the rest of the video play what's up YouTube what's going on guys so today's vlog is on a more positive note I know I ended that last one a little bit uh, upset with the injury but I got good news on that I'm gonna talk about it in a second Anyway, I just want to give a huge shout out. I'm sitting here in front of my computer. I just finished up some of the final protocols. Uh, as some of you guys know, Jazz and I released the co-coaching service that we've been planning for a long time. And uh, the outreach was insane. Uh, I just, we both want to just say how much we appreciate everyone and, and love all you guys for, for coming out and uh, supporting us. Seriously, uh, no joke, we got 20 inquiries within the first three days which anyone who knows about coaching, like if you've ever done online coaching, most of you probably haven't, but that just doesn't happen. Uh, and it was a lot of work and it was a lot of long nights staying up until 3 a.m. And, and Skyping Jazz because she's also in Toronto. So that made this even more difficult because we're going over everything over Skype, but we got it done. Uh, I think we took down the, the coaching services for a couple of days to get caught up because we honestly didn't expect it so much. And we, we allowed 30 people to sign up. Like that was our limit we would take on at any given time because we know we can handle 30 at once. However, we didn't expect so many people uh, like literally in the first three days to get 20 clients because that's a lot of routines and nutritional protocols to write up and stuff. But anyway, uh, these are just some of them here. These are just some of the peoples we've done uh, in the last few days getting caught up. I think this is about eight or ten protocols. Some of them are uh, both nutrition and training, so it's the same person. We love you all, seriously. Uh, it was amazing. But yeah, uh, about the injury, just to talk about that real quick. I'm going to make this short because I already filmed this second part once and I don't want to like talk too much. Basically, I'm on Accutane because of severe back acne that I've dealt with since I was younger. It always comes back every few years, ever since I was like 13. So I finally decided to go the Accutane route. What I didn't know is at higher doses, and I recently just upped my dose, it will cause really severe inflammation reactions, especially in the back. When I was deadlifting the other day, it wasn't a strain, which it makes so much sense now how it showed up the next day with no sign. Uh, it was really bad inflammation from the Accutane. Apparently, that's a huge side effect that I had never heard of. Uh, and some one of my friends, she did some research for me and uh, figured it out. So uh, it was actually really freaking swollen for like a few days. I lowered my Accutane dose. Pain's completely gone. Took some anti-inflammatories and, and I'm 100%. There is no strain. It was just really bad inflammation. So so anyway, enough fucking talking, guys. Uh, about to go to the gym. Going to fills first. Got to get my fills in. Then I'm going to pop some pre-workout. Then I got front squats and bench on deck today. I did squats, bench, and deadlift yesterday. Uh, yeah, I squat and bench two days in a row. I actually squat and bench three times a week now, deadlift twice a week. But I'll get into my training a little bit later. I'm going to see you guys at Phil's, then at the gym, pop in my pre-workout, then in the squat rack, boy. Guys, listen to this drop, son. Just wait for it. It's my cousin. This shit ain't even finished. It's not even its final form. So hard, son. Y'all need to check out Two Bold on SoundCloud. Oh, my camera's gonna fall. Woo! I got you, baby. Hold on. This is why 
why you don't film and drive without one of those little things that helps you out and probably all blurry now. Anyway, uh, this is my cousin's song. I'm going to put it in the clip while I'm lifting. That's it. I'm filming every set today, and I'm going to splice this clip in there, or the sound in there. Uh, yeah, hey, for real, check out my cousin. Yeah, he, uh, he's played EDC before. He's played uh, Beyond Wonderland and he's touring a bunch this year so he's doing big fucking things in the EDM world anyway on my way to Phil's guys I'm gonna see you over there
I'm tired. Even though it was like a bitch ass workout compared to what I like usually do, uh, I'm whooped. I took some time off uh, this last week just to get back into the swing of things, but everything feels great. Ever since uh, I switched up some things with my form, I'm feeling amazing. So uh, back to earlier what I was talking about with that injury, um, yeah, like the back is completely good now, figured out Saccutane. I've also been dealing with a lot of bicep tendinosis, uh, which you heard about me talking about in the last video. Now that's something that I do have accurately diagnosed. Uh, however, I made one switch, and I wish I filmed yesterday, but I didn't because I didn't know how good the session was gonna go. But I was talking to my buddy Hanny, he's a TSA coach, the strength athlete. Um, he's one of the few people I trust to take his advice and he's like someone I would let program for me anyway uh, Shout out. He recommended that Instead of using a false grip on my low bar squat I use a full grip which I have tried in the past because it is more optimal However, usually I get really bad wrist pain, but what I did is uh, I did switch to a full grip and I just wrapped the shit out of my wrist wrap super tight Got no wrist pain and it alleviated that bicep tendinosis pain that I've been feeling Reason being is when you use a full grip meaning my thumb is around the bar not in a false position in this position your wrist bend less and Your arm your actual bicep takes a lot of that tension as where when you're fully gripped now the forearm and the wrist take a lot of that tension so it's usually given give and take so uh, my my tricep uh, tendons now right at the the outside elbow will flare up a little bit I know that's gonna come hasn't really started yet but it will uh, but it's going to be nowhere near as bad as my bicep tendinosis that's for sure so I made that switch and it looks like I can low bar squat without pain uh, and it, our benching felt pretty good today and uh, it's only gonna get better so really freaking excited about that I can't even talk right now anyway with that little time off um, even those four days off or whatever I took, uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, workout went good today, so I'm gonna go home, see what else there is to vlog. Hopefully this shit ain't too long because I wanna vlog some more. Yeah, guys, I'm amped up. I feel like I can do the SB meet and come in there and, and accomplish my goals. Everything's feeling good. Also, the weather's warmer. That's making a big difference. So anyway, I'm gonna see you guys at home.